Well, that was aggravating. I just freaking did a whole video where I talked for many minutes and my headphone, my other pair of headphones, stopped working for me. I mean, how am I supposed to be doing this and, you know, trying to talk about kaiju when my freaking headset didn't work? Here we go. I got my other one because, you know, now I got to see why that one wasn't working. I'll have to figure it out later. Anyways, I came here today to talk to you guys about a show that's coming out in September. We finally got the release date. Gamera Rebirth, September 7th. All right. So, I have been waiting for this show since the first poster came out and they said it was coming out in spring. I mean, I guess September can be considered spring. Anyways, so they revealed the final monster in the trailer, which, of course, is Virus. Which, after we had four of the Showa-era monsters pop up, I said it was a 50-50 toss between Barugon and Virus. And it is Virus. Um, in the trailer, it didn't look like he was going to be the one leading all of them around and telling them what to do. Could be the case, or it could just be that he's kind of just a beast. I don't know. In the movie that he originally came from, he was the brains of the operation. He was intelligent, he could speak, um, but it doesn't look that way. So we now have the five monsters, which we have Gauss, Giron, Jiger, uh, Zegra, and Virus. So that's pretty cool. Um, no love for Baragon. Maybe it's because his name's too close to Baragon. Um, but. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this show. Uh, I don't know how many shorts I've done over the last uh, couple of months. Um, the trailer just shows all the monsters and Gamera's fighting them. It doesn't really have much of the story shown. Um, and we don't know uh, how intelligent Virus is going to be or not. Um, all the designs look great. So, you know, it'll be fun to see how this show shapes up. And um, the other thing is that there is another show that's coming out in August, which actually doesn't look half bad, which is, it came to my surprise, uh, the One Piece live action. I had a lot of concerns, but I mean, Oda himself was connected with the show and it doesn't look half bad. So maybe there's a chance that this could be good. Um, and that's coming out in August. So I will be reviewing both of these shows once they're out. And uh, probably enjoying it quite a lot. Um, but anyways, I'll catch you all later. Have a good day.